Hi everyone, it's Amy from Nifty Stitch on Flashes and on Instagram. I am back with my February update and it's an exciting one. So I have 11 projects to show, one of them's a finish, I've got two new starts because when you finish one thing you start more, right? That's just the way it is, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I've got a stack of whips here that I hope won't fall over. My notes are down here so if I keep looking down that's why. And if I sound a bit rough it's because Ollie's given me a bit of his cold. The joys, eh? So anyway, without further ado, before my throat gives in, let's just get to the stitching. So the first project I have to show is my pancakes piece. This is by Stitchrovia on Etsy. It's one of the projects that, oh, hang on, I haven't thought of where I'm putting these things. I'm on the desk behind me, but no, oh, hang on. If I move, there we go. I've moved the haul along because there's haul coming too. Um, but yeah, I've moved the haul along, so that's fine. But anyway, pancakes is one of my pieces that I hope to finish for Christmas for a Christmas present, and we're doing well. <gasps> Hang on, we need something to put behind it. I'll use this beautiful project bag. Ooh, threads. <laughs> um, this was from Millie Tally Cross Stitch as a present for giving birth. <laughs> How kind. It's lovely. It's beautiful. I love it. I hope she puts some more in her shop. If she still does an Etsy shop, I need to buy some. <laughs> so Millie, if you're watching, I need some project bags. <laughs> Get making. Need to buy. Um, anyway, tangent. So this is where we're up to now. We're at 50% or just a little over 50% um, and I really like how it's turning out. I was a little bit nervous when I first started stitching this section purely because when you look at the product picture ooh, we're sliding <laughs> when you look at the picture it's a lot of dark colours and then when you look at how I've stitched it it's really light now I was going to message Emma and be like what's going on <laughs> is your pattern wrong or is it me um but it definitely wasn't me, it was definitely the pattern. And when I looked on Etsy to see if anybody else had put anything in the reviews because I'm too shy to be like, excuse me, is this right? Um, so when I looked um, on the Etsy, uh, Etsy shop, somebody had put a picture of the finished piece as the review and was like five stars, messaged the... Um, the seller, I can't think of the word, it's lit. Um, messaged the Etsy seller, um, had a big conversation, she was really helpful, um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And she had hers the same exact same colour as mine, so I knew this was right, but the product image was wrong, if that makes sense. So yeah, when I show you it through the months and it looks completely different to the picture, that's why. I'm not quite sure why the product image is different to the actual stitched pattern that you do. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I do quite like how it is turning out. I think it was a little bit too dark and dingy, so a little bit light colours is um, definitely helping that. So yeah, we're up to 50%. Can you believe it? It doesn't look like it, but there was a lot of stitching in this pan. <laughs> Took me ages. Um, also, yes, I apologise in advance for past threads. I've tried to like squeeze it behind because it goes all the way up here. Um, so yes, I'm really enjoying how this has turned out. I've put in 1,185 stitches, don't know if I already said that, but there we go. And this is on an 18 count white, 2 over 1. 2 over 1? Yeah? Yeah. 2 strands, 18 count. Figure it out. <laughs> it's late, I'm tired. It's been a long day, it's been a long week. Um, I'm running on, what is it? <laughs> Thursday. I'll get there. Next is Time for Tea, also by Strovia on Etsy. And I have been working this way. Um, this is also the project bag that it is kept in. I shall keep it in hand, on hand, so I can show you. I have put in 526 stitches. This is also one of the I need to finish this for Christmas or before Christmas. Um, and I've completed the rose hip. And then they just start on 
the other one let's just have a lemon balm so i think i'll go down and do lemon balm um i'll get to haul later but part of the haul is this spoilers um so when i show you this this is for this um sparkling thread oh yeah so exciting um so yes i was waiting for that i was going to do the border when i got to the edge of the rose hip but because the thread wasn't here yet i decided to go down not that i worked on it anymore after it but never mind <laughs> um i worked out that i only have to do so many hundred stitches in it a month to get it finished for december and i have been overachieving slightly um with each of uh, the monthly goals that i have for these as well so it has been working out quite well having a monthly goal being able to stitch on it and know that i have achieved and i probably will get it finished maybe before december but it's nice to know i only need to do x amount of stitches on it and then i can put away and don't have to think about it so i got this out i think about the second and third of february and then i've put it away and i haven't looked at it since literally now <laughs> so i really like how it's turning out though it looks really pretty so yes this is stitched on an 18 count i want to say antique white might just be white i'm not sure it looks like a white <laughs> i'm sizing it up against um the pancakes piece <laughs> i think it might be white possibly antique white i should know these things to be honest but never mind um and this is also just two strands the usual on your 18 count so that is that next up is my finish it's the smallest thing ever don't get too excited <laughs> this is my oh i might be able to do it like this this is coco yes i can very badly hang on we'll just get the bag the bag fixes everything it's a perfect perfect reason to keep bringing it back up <laughs> um yes this is coco and i worked on it for about well i'll say seven days about seven times um it was by cross stitch quest that i found on pinterest it's like a free pattern um obviously through her website um and i did change it slightly i just didn't put color in the mouth the nose and then i think i had like black stitching in the eyes which was a bit pointless because i did it on black fabric so i just thought it didn't need it i was quite happy with it just as it was doing the color around the eyes and the eyebrows um so yeah i'm quite happy with how that turned out i started this, this is how embarrassing oh it's just ridiculous so i started this on the 18th of october 2020 Should have been finished a really long time ago a really really long time ago but anyway i finished it the 9th of february 2024 so it's taken me well thankfully not four years but it does sound like it <laughs> we're not quite because it was february finished and not october so just a little over three years wow um this was my whip go number to get a finish and thankfully i did it <laughs> don't think i wanted to take that into 2025 with me put it that way um so yes i'm glad that's finished that was just on i think an 18 count black ada two strands simple simple um next was my next whip go goal was christmas tree farm and this is by heaven and earth designs artwork by donna gelsinger i'm working in this top corner here as always they get stuck there and um, this is stitched on a 25 count Uganda one over one full cross. I might actually have to, I'm going to have to do this. Makes it look as if I've done loads. I haven't. <laughs> it's just where the stitches are. Um, so the whip go goal was for 500 stitches and I've put in 500 stitches. <laughs> Purely because... It was one of them days where I had childcare, so I could just sit and stitch all day and enjoy myself, so I did. And I did the full 500 stitches in one day, which I was quite proud of because I haven't really had chance to do anything like that for a long time. So, here's where we're at. 
So I've worked a lot in the trees, trying to get this page finished down here and then to move, oh, hang on, we've got threads. Um, yeah, so trying to get this page finished so that I can move back up here and do some more on the sky. So yeah, I have been enjoying it. We're up to about 3.30% I think this is. So it looks like a lot, but it's really not. It's <laughs> 3%, not even three and a half. Um, yeah, I do really like this one. It is a shame that it doesn't come out as often as what I would like. But when you have lots of projects, what happens <laughs> and I am not just gonna sit and stitch on one thing I physically couldn't do that I don't have the mental capacity to do that but people do I take my hat off to them I really do I would have a lot more projects finished if I did next we have Leo which is this one I have pictures yay don't know what happened to the printer don't know if you can see yeah yeah I don't know what happened to that anyway and um, this is another, I was going to say Christmas piece. It's not, it's just a present piece. It's a birthday piece for a friend who has a birthday in July. And this one is on a 25 count um, Lugana pearl opal flecked. It's very pretty, very pretty. Uh, I've put in 1,020 stitches in this. And this is where we are at. I'm really enjoying how this one's coming along. You can see the bag behind this one a little bit. It's a bit thin, this fabric. Hang on, there we go. Um, but yeah, I am really enjoying how this one is turning out. Love the colours. Um, this is also, before I forget, one of the needle minders from Jess Gets Stitching. That I was on about last month that I had ordered um, and was waiting for so that was the cloud one um, I'll show you the rest in haul because I did say I would show you them when they arrived so yes stitching um, I've way overachieved on this one <laughs> I say way over I need to put in 751 a month to get this one finished for July in time for a birthday luckily it's the end of July um, so I have got technically seven months if I really wanted to cut it fine <laughs> um but I don't really want to I want to be able to get it finished earlier so I am quite happy with how this one is turning out putting in just a little over a thousand stitches in three days is really good going for me um especially lately so I am really happy with how this one's turning out it is lovely and I love the fabric I don't know if you can oh yeah of course you can see beautiful i love sparkly pretty things <laughs> it's just me you wouldn't think it looking at me right now do you me look at that mess <laughs> next one is i don't have a picture princess and the frog um i can't remember who this is by somebody on etsy um and i have put in 505 stitches there's a lot of park threads on this i apologize i'm not normally a park thready person but it's a mess <laughs> and this one is stitched on a 28 count Brittany lugana even weave one over one full across also leo was 25 count but it was also one over one full across as well before i forget Anyway, so this is where we're up to. This is the tree. I didn't realise what it was at first when I was stitching it, and then I realised that's the tree, that's another part of the tree that's coming down. Um, so this one, I've got 505 stitches in. Now, the reason why I've just pulled out a random big project is because at this point in the month, I had done all of my goals for Whip Go, I'd done all of my like monthly stitching goals, which is pancakes, time for tea and Leo. And it was about the 10th or the 11th of February. So I was just a little bit lost, if you will. Um, and I did say to myself at the start of the year, 
before I decided to start lots of things, what I intended to do was just whip go and then pick out a BAP for the month, so the gas project. <laughs> um, and these ones are big. But just to spin a wheel, whatever project it landed on, I would put in X amount of stitches and I think I picked like 500 um, or a thousand maybe. And then obviously I've lowered it to 500 when I had lots of other things to do. So obviously last month I picked out, well, I spun a wheel and Lovers was picked. This time round it was Princess and the Frog. So it's just something nice. I don't have to do it if I don't want to, but once I've done all of the goals, like the first of the month comes round and I'm like, right, I need to do all of these stitchy goals, get them finished, and then I can stitch on whatever I fancy, whenever I want to. But nothing else was really sort of calling to me. I didn't really go, oh, I'll pick that up. So I was like, what can I do? I'll spin the wheel and get a big project out. <laughs> so I worked on this a couple of times, got 505 stitches in. I was happy with it, so I just moved on. Um, there was other things that started to call to me at that point. <laughs> So yes, happy with that one. Next is a new start. And it is a very cute, dinky, dainty new start. This is You Are My Sunshine by Stitching Cabin. Now, I was really happy when my fabric came for this because I took a really long time trying to pick out the right fabric because I wanted it to be perfect because I was stitching it for Ollie. So. I decided on a 32 count Murano, is that how you say it? Not quite sure, I've never used it before. Um, but uh, yeah, 32 count Murano and it is called Ocean Blues and it is by Riverhut Designs on Etsy. Look how pretty, hang on, hang on. Look how pretty the blue is. I just appreciate the fabric first and then we'll appreciate the design. <laughs> Um, obviously I've had to fold it over, but it's a shame, I'm not taking out the case now because it took me that long to get it in. <laughs> so I've made a little start on it, but it's got 204 stitches in. Um, the fabric came with a friend because fabric can't travel alone. Um, I'll show you that in the haul. Um, but the fabric came and I wasn't planning on starting it. But it came and I needed it and I needed to start it and it was Valentine's Day and I just thought, why not? Valentine's Day start. So yes, started this the 14th of February, forgot what day Valentine's Day was then. <laughs> so this is obviously a 32 count, um, 2 over 2, full cool cross. I have made some slight changes because... What I decided to do was take all of the the fabric, not the fabric, the threads that I have in all of the boxes that I've kitted up for projects that I'll probably never actually finish stitching because I've got a lot and I'll be really old by the time I finish at least one of them, um, <laughs> the way I go. Um, so I just decided to get all of my threads and then just bobbinate them into my busy bicy drawers, never know how to say it. Um, so I'm undoing that at the moment. I've got two full boxes of threads left as well as just one of them zippy bags full to go through. <laughs> I've got a few dupes, don't get me wrong. So I won't be doing all of them but I'll be doing quite a few of them. Um, so it was really handy that when I looked at the colours that I'd need and I had none apart from 310. <laughs> what are the chances? Um, I just decided to pick my own colours that looked close to the finished image. Um, uh -huh. So, they look similar. Obviously, this is going to be a lot lighter because it's a finished image from, you know, a digitally printed image. That's the word I was thinking of. But yeah, I thought they looked really close. I mean, the pink for the cheeks, I didn't want to be as intense or as bright. Um, so I just did it a little bit of a paler colour. But I have chosen, and I can show you because we're here. Oh, classy. <laughs> Literally, this is how excited I was to start it. Um, so 
so let me see so 7 to 6 is the colour of the lighter colour of the sun then 7 to 8 is the darker shade then I picked just this colour so 760 for the cheeks but obviously when you put it like this it makes it so much paler do you know what I mean And then for the love hearts, because, and I'll show you the picture again. So there are a few love hearts dotted around. And I thought it would be nice to pick like a darker colour for those. So I have picked 3687 for the darker hearts. So I've completely changed the colours in the pattern, which I am not a person to do that in the slightest. Um, if I was talking to... And then just get me. Penguin cross stitch. I'm going to have to look. It's going to annoy me. I want to say Chloe. Bear with me. Yes, I was right. Follow your instincts, Amy. You're right. Penguin cross stitch, Chloe. And she just finished a sword of stitch and it was really pretty. But she changed the colours of the dress. And I messaged her and I was like, wow. You want talented lady to be able to do that because I've literally been stitching for well 20 plus years now. I'm only 26. 22 years? Well, that's a lot. On and off. And I will, if I remember, I will get, because I can see it, I will get my first ever piece of stitching and show you. Because people will go, since you were four. No, not really. When you see that, you will understand. <laughs> Definitely was when I was four year old. Um, so anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, so yeah, so she just said to me, you know, give it a go. With Not obviously just with this, but just in general, give it a go, change things up. If you don't like something, just change it to how you like it. Um, and I was a bit nervous but I really wanted to start this. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start it. And I wanna pick whatever colors that I want to, as long as it looks semi close to the actual finished product because I didn't wanna go too far off the rails. But I think it looks really nice. It's looking well. And there's not really that much left in it to have it finished, to be honest. So I am quite happy with how that turned out. I showed my dad and he said, Wow, when you hold that far away, it literally just looks like you're stitching on a t-shirt. <laughs> he likes like at least an 18 count, if not more. So yeah, I understand where he's coming from. <laughs> but I can see the holes when I'm like this close, stitching it, it's fine. <laughs> Next, <laughs> we have my Blackwork Stitch Along Peppermint Purple 2024 Stitch Along. Wow, that was hard work. Um, and I have worked on weeks five, six, and seven. I need to catch up on it. But we've got some of the darker colours in now. So this was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then eight, nine, ten. We'll go around in a circle like that. Um, but yeah, these are the colours that I've chosen. Obviously, the in between blue hasn't been chosen yet for any of the design yet. So obviously, I haven't got that one on. But. I'm enjoying how these are turning out. Um, I was a little bit 50-50 about the last one. That's probably why I haven't carried on. <laughs> because it's me. Um, but I've done it. I'm happy with how it's turned out. I was a little bit 50-50 when I was stitching it. But I think it looks okay. And it looks even better in the camera. So that's fine. <laughs> um, yes, so far, so good. Um, I do need to catch up on... Well, this week's will be to catch up on. And then I haven't done last week's either. Um... So yeah, so I'll have, hang on, both, eight and nine. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so I've got week eight and week nine to catch up on, um, which I'll probably do shortly, so that I'm not far behind, because I don't think I can sit and do like four or five in a row. I did three pretty much in a row, um, and that was a bit intense for my little brain. I just got the hang of like one pattern and then had to move on to the next, and it was just like, no. <laughs> so yeah, this is stitched on... A 18 count antique white ada, definitely antique white because I picked it out of the drawer. Didn't realise I had um the ada and I was over the moon because I was just desperate to start it. Um when when you want to start something 
especially when you may if I want to start something I need to start it then and there otherwise I'll lose sleep over it <laughs> that's just me oh dear I don't know if anybody else is like that but if you are please let me know so it's, I know I'm not alone <laughs> so there we go it's that one next up we're getting close to the end don't worry um, is my Cinderella piece which is this one and it is by All My Stitches Shop on Etsy it is no longer available it's part of the Princess Silhouette series which I am stitching which I am in love with because they're amazing such a shame she's moved them they, they were on a they were MIA for ages then they appeared on her that was interesting. Sister's trying to watch that video on me. I'm trying to film a false truth, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, they um they disappeared for a while. Uh, they weren't on Etsy, they weren't on a shop, then they were on a shop. Um and now they're not on a shop anymore, I don't think. I'm not quite sure. So it's easy just to say they don't exist. And then if they do, you know, stumble across them. <laughs> This is stitched on a 25 count, one over one, full cross. And I have put in 1,034 stitches. I'm at 75%. So yeah, quite happy with how that one's turning out. That's that one. I'm loving how it's turning out. We are at 75%. Can't remember if I said that. Also, 1,034 stitches. Can't remember if I said that either. Honestly, my brain. <laughs> so yes, I'm really enjoying how it's turned out. I'm just sort of working around this way, um, filling as, as I'm going, and then I'll probably do some dress and then come around this side and meet in the middle kind of thing. But this is the edge. We are at the edge. All of this section around here is finished up to here. Um, all of this part's done, apart from like the little tiny stars. Um, they need doing but other than that Frankie hairs on it man honestly other than that we are getting close to a finish um I'm sure it was just about 2189 stitches or 98 stitches something like that um and then it was finished so I am kind of wanting to push this on a little bit more now um in March hopefully just to be able to get this finished so that I can start Sleeping Beauty because I feel like I've been on this one for ages now. And I'm sure it was only really 2022 that I finished Snow White. So, fingers crossed, <laughs> it's not gonna take me two years to finish one, otherwise I'm gonna be on a really long time to get the full 10 done. <laughs> so yes, I am enjoying this. I'm really liking how it's working up. And because it's so close to a finish as well, and I can see the finish line. I'm getting really excited about it. So yes, I can't wait. So that is that one. Nearly done. Next we have ooh, crinkly and glary. I apologise. Uh, this is Let Us Be Friends by Randall Design for Threads. Um, 14 count. That's the thing I'm looking for. Stitched on the 14. I'm surprised you can't see the pile. <laughs> totting up behind me but you can't um so yes it's on a 14 count um all came with the kit like the kit ada the kit threads um and i've only worked on this just a couple of times so here's where we are with this one i have worked on the guinea pig down here a little bit i think putting this green um yeah it was like this gray color and a really pale grey brown here and then worked on the lettuce finally to connect us to the other guinea pig because um this is the bottom pretty much so I haven't really got much left of this guinea pig so I am getting really close to getting at least one guinea pig finished which I'll be over the moon with because I also think this was a 2020 start as well and it should have been finished a long time ago it's one of them projects it's a paper pattern I'm struggling <laughs> don't judge um what else was I going to say about this? Oh yes, this nerd hoop is also a haul before I forget. I thought I would give it a go. I'm still a little bit on the fence about it. Um, 
I've seen a lot of people using them and I thought, you know what? I can't get away with a hoop because I, re I like to have the fabric really tight and this is close. It's close to how I like it, but it just needs to be that little bit tighter, but I, I don't really know how to get any tighter if you can, if it's possible. Um, but yes, I am kind of enjoying how it's, how it works. I really enjoy how it's fitting the guinea pig in and it'll probably fit a lot of the other guinea pig in as well, which makes me very happy that I don't have to then move and squash, um, squash stitches. So yes, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I really love this, these guinea pigs and it's for Andrew. Andrew loves a guinea pig. Um, Can I get it finished for his birthday? Towards the end of April? We shall see. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold my breath, put it that way. Um, anyway, last but certainly not least is my leap year, leap year, leap day start, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it leap day start. Um, so I did a poll on Instagram and I kept it as surprise as what's won because I thought it would be nice to be surprised here it is on leap day. So there was a lot of patterns. There was a lot of different designers and artists. Um, none of the patterns I actually had in my stash <laughs> because that's me. Um, I didn't know what to buy, what to stitch. I wanted to stitch them all. I'd been looking since about second week of January, <laughs> looking for something new, something nice to start because I've fallen out of love with some of my old ones um, and I'll get to that in a second because I have butchered one of my old projects, I've UFO'd it and I've pinched the fabric to start this one today um, because I realised that leap day was a lot closer than what I thought it was um, and then I just took the plunge and chopped the fabric. I do feel really bad about it. <laughs> But at the same time, I don't because I'm never going to be, I'm never going to stitch that one again. Um, so there's no point in all of that fabric sitting there for no reason. Um, so I decided, RIP, <laughs> to stop stitching in UFO um, the Winnie the Pooh map. Purely because by the time I would finish it, it would be like a tapestry. It would be for Ollie's kids. <laughs> if he ever has any um but it, it, it would take that long and i have so many other projects that i really want to actually see finished um that i just thought you know i'm never gonna pick it up again and if i do i'm not gonna love it while i'm stitching it so what's the point in carrying on with it um i don't know if anybody else has ever felt like that about projects but i just literally i would bring it out for whip parades and go no progress and that's all it would ever do and I don't know I can't work on it anymore because I've chopped it for this one. <laughs> oh, well actually I didn't cut it Andrew did because I couldn't bring myself around to cutting the fabric <laughs> so anyway this is the one that won so this is sea turtle 15 by light unicorn designs on Etsy so cute um I love turtles and this one is just so cute it's so face his little face i can't all the blues is very me i love it um don't get too excited about the amount of stitching that i've put in because i was trying to kit it up every time ollie had a nap today <laughs> so we have a grand a, a, a grand amazing total of 71 stitches here it is hang on let's get these bits of fabric up so we don't look so strange there we go. So we've got 71 little stitches. It's the first time I've been able to use this needle minder too because I've always had a needle minder on a project and I wanted it on a big project. So I say big. This is going to be, well, this piece of fabric's about 30, oh well, 40 by 45 centimetres. So it's nothing really. <laughs> um, but yes. I am really liking how it's turning out. If I hold this this way, is it going to be better for... Oh, kind of. It is still incredibly see-through, this fabric. Wow. It is a 28-count Brittany Lozana Evenweave. 
um, and it's stitched one over one full cross. That's probably better just to do that, yeah. Terrible, terrible. I apologise. <laughs> but yes, 71 stitches isn't too bad. I'm going to stitch in it some more. Probably today, tonight. It depends by the time. I mean, it's 8 o'clock now. By the time I've edited and uploaded this, I probably won't have time. <laughs> but I want to get this done. So yes, that is all of my projects that I have to show for this month. Um, yeah, and obviously that was the 29th of February Luke's Day stuff. Yay! So, next up is haul. Okay, we're not ready for this. And I'm totally ready for this. So, hang on. There's, there'll be a lot of rustling and crinkling and wrinkling. I apologise. Everything's in a packet. I'm not going to take it out of a packet because of kits. So, we're not. Um, other than that, I'll show you these first. <laughs> so... These two are from Magpie Needlecraft. These are the two needle minders that I was on about. This is Skelly Girl and my Wonka bar of chocolate. Yes, I've left them on there so you can see what they look like <laughs> because I love these. They're adorable. And that bar of chocolate, I just want to eat it. <laughs> so for Just Get Stitching, all of the little miscellaneous pick a shape and get a random one i was very excited by this um so obviously the cloud one on the leo piece was hers this is a christmas one i'm trying to see if i can and it's got like an indentation of a snowflake yeah but it's um like black and gold flecks in it and it is really pretty I would never do like, or I'd never think of doing like, like black for a snowflake. But it, oh, it really makes it look so pretty. Um, then I got two circles. So we have this one, which, yeah, it's all, it's all like glitter. Um, like a silvery white and a red stripe. And then there's this one. Um, this one is like a bluey, greeny, silvery white marble. Oh, I wish it would just focus a bit better. We have issues with the loft with showing off nice things, unfortunately. I'll save the best till last time of this one. So this one is a seashell and it is like a reddy, greeny, Oh, it's sparkly. I love it. They're all like sparkly. And then this one is a little dinosaur. How cute. I don't know what um, project I'm going to put him on. But he needs to go on a good one. <laughs> or he's going to come out every week and be like, here he is, he's back. Uh, we should name him. What should we call him? Pick a name for the dinosaur. <laughs> anyway. So that was them. Really happy with them. Um, like I said last, I said, I said last month, um, I don't really go for miscellaneous mysteries. That's not really me. I am very much a, I like what I'm gonna, like I look at what I buy, I like it, I buy it kind of person. I very rarely I think that's the first ever time that I've bought anything stitchy related and just gone, oh, it's a mystery. I'll have that, 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 and that. And then just whatever comes, turns up. <laughs> so, yeah. Next up is a pattern I have bought, which I've printed off the pictures so you can see. This is another one of the patterns, I forgot the word, um, that... I put in the poll for the Leap Day Star and I really liked and when people were voting for it I was like yes keep voting for it because I really like this one and I kind of want to work on this one I kind of want to stitch this one um so this is Window Moon by Pink Lily Patterns I wrote it on the bottom so I remembered um and it is just absolutely beautiful I love all of the colours in it um 
the more you look, the more you see, really. All of the pretty flowers. I'm pretty sure I've got a butterfly. That might be a flower. No, they're just little flowers. The little flowers around the edges. And a little castle at the bottom. It's just so beautiful. I love it. Might have to be a birthday start, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um. So yes, bought it because I just couldn't leave it behind. Once I'd seen it, I needed it. Bought it. Um. Yes, then, this is the first ever time I have bought from Hobby Jobby. I got a little bit carried away. So the nerd tube came from Hobby Jobby. Then... Um, one of my friends has decided that she wants to dip a toe into cross stitch and have a little look and see what she thinks. She doesn't know that I've gone mad and bought kits. <laughs> um, but I saw them. They were literally like £1.50. And I thought, why not? They're really pretty. They're really cute. And if she doesn't want to stitch them, then I will. <laughs> so we have a little tulip. And these are all Luca S. Yeah, they're all Luca S kits. So there's a little tulip. Then we have a butterfly. I love a butterfly. Then we have, I want to say these are a bluebell. I did ask my mum, she told me, and it's just completely lost my, like, it's gone out of my mind. I'm sure it was a bluebell. Because I always want to call them forget-me-nots, but they're not forget-me-nots. Bluebell. Bluebell. Then there's this one, which is a rose. And then, I saw these for me and I couldn't leave them behind. I'm not throwing them at the deep end this bag. Um, so this is, I don't know if they have names. Summer Delight. There we go. The look at S kit. And it is a little butterfly sitting on some flowers. Two favourite things, blue, butterflies. Can't go wrong. So I bought that one for me. And then this one is just called Bluebird. How adorable is that? I just love it. It's so cute. Um, and at our house at the back, we have two little bird boxes. And last year, there were some little blue tits nesting in one of the boxes. And it was the cutest thing ever to see them flying in and out and feeding the babies. Oh, we just sit on a Sunday morning in the conservatory watching them and it was just so lovely. So this just made me think of them. <laughs> and obviously it's not a blue tip, but it's a blue bird. Um, and obviously it's blue. And I like blue. So there we go. <laughs> One of the other things that I bought as well is obviously the thread. The gold thread. So this is E436. Look how sparkly it is. So this is for the border around Time for Tea. Now, I am slightly disappointed because I didn't know how much to buy because I've only ever really worked with um, like sparkly glittery thread once and it was about four years ago. <laughs> I can't remember how much I actually used. I think I ended up having to go out to buy more and when I was on the website, I just thought, why not? I'll buy two. And only one's turned up. Now, I was on FaceTime to my mum and dad at the time because we all like to see a stitchy haul and they like to see it first. <laughs> um, so I was on FaceTime to my mum and dad and I was like, look at all these things that I bought. And then I was like, hang on a minute. There's only one. I'm sure I ordered two. And I went through the email and I looked and it was definitely a two extra quantity for these yet there was only one that turned up so I got in contact with them and I asked them was like where's my second one <laughs> I ordered two and I am the kind of paranoid wreck that like at first I was a bit like it's okay I'll just forget about it it's fine but then the little gremlin in the back of my mind was like but you've paid for two and what happens if you need the two and you only have one so I was like Excuse me with my thread um, and they haven't replied <laughs> so well I say they haven't they did but they didn't in a way so I ended up messaging the page on Instagram because I couldn't find a contact 
email on the website. Um, so obviously I messaged the page. They were like, oh, so sorry about that. Email is email. I emailed them. Haven't heard from them since. And that was about two or three weeks ago now. So I really need to get back onto it and be like, is my thread there or not? Because I kind of don't want to start using it if I don't get another one if that makes sense purely because i'm paranoid that the colors are going to be different if i get a different one if that makes sense um i'm not really sure how the like glittery fabrics like glittery fabric glittery threads work um i'm not sure um but i am gonna have to chase that up because it is really annoying <laughs> um anyway moving on from the rant the last thing that I bought was obviously my fabric from Riverhut Designs um, on Etsy and I also, so I bought the blue for the You Are My Sunshine but I originally went on to look for some fabric for this Mary Poppins piece um, because I can't remember if I showed them all last time. Did I show them? Hang on, notes are in here, notes are in here. don't think I did. Oh. It's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'll quickly show them on here. So. If I can find them. Well, anyway, there's Mary Poppins. So it's from um, Abby Sue Designs. Yeah, lovely. Glaring glare. I'll put them in. So there was a few of these. So there's Coraline, Mirabelle, Tinkerbell, Charlotte, Dr. Facilier, Tiana. And I think that was it. Obviously Mary Poppins. Um, now these are really pretty. I really like them. Um, she was selling them because she was, I'm sure I mentioned this anyway. I can't remember what I've talked about, even though it's there anyway. So the Mary Poppins piece, I really wanted a nice piece of fabric um, and I was talking to my sister and I was saying what would be a nice colour fabric for this because she's wearing a lot of like white or like pale grey and I didn't want to stitch it on a white fabric because it would have just sort of washed it out even though I think it's got back stitch on. So we ummed and out about it for a while and then I thought purple, I want purple because when she's wearing that outfit, ooh, Spoiler. Whoops, spoiler. <laughs> so she's sat, when she's wearing that outfit, she's sat on a carousel horse and the carousel horse is purple. So my mind instantly just went, I need the fabric to be purple because she's sat on, on a purple horse. Um, so Sarah, bless her, at like half 11 at night when I decided I need to find some fabric, um, even though I'm not going to start this probably for a little while yet. Um, but she was looking all over the place. She ended up finding quite a few different ones on Etsy. And this was one of the ones that she found. And I saw it and was like, yes. And we were both like, definitely, definitely this one. So this is the fabric. Look at it. Look at it. How exciting. It's coming up pretty true to colour as well, which I'm really happy with. So this is also a 32 Cabarano. And it is called Magical Mischief. So I am really happy with how it looks. It's so pretty. I love a piece of dyed, hand dyed fabric. I don't get many and when I do, it's the best decision I ever made. Just, can you, there, look at that. Yes, yes, look at it. I just love everything about it. The way that like the sort of pinky little bits pop in it as well is beautiful. Can't get enough. Ow, that was my shoulder popping. <laughs> That's when you know you're old. So, I'm gonna fold this piece of fabric really nice, put it away so that it doesn't get damaged. And then, because I've mentioned it now and people will be curious, about four-year-old Amy's cross-stitching abilities. 
here we go so i think i actually was going to make this a, a video like its own little video but i've never actually got around to it yet so this is going to be it so here we are this is where i used to keep oh. river cruise ticket for a cruise boat for dartmouth from 2013. wow i feel old why have i kept that anyway so this is and this just goes to show no spoilers but uh, this just goes to show how like Hang on. I've got a plain avail little magazine. Has this got a date on? 2010. Wow. But this just goes to show how old I was <laughs> when I had this. Anyway, so hopefully nothing else. No, nothing else is going to fall out. So this is the photo album book that I used to keep all of my pieces in until they were a little bit too big so this is and you're not ready for this the first ever and there is a tiny bit of cross stitching on it but most of it is sort of like back stitchy blanket stitch kind of esque um but this is the the first ever piece of like cross stitch that I did at a four-year-old hang on you can just see I hold up against this <laughs> you can't just see all of the horrendous back there we go so that's it look at me go with my beads my tiny little bit of cross stitch at the top yeah <laughs> how exciting is that <laughs> in the back because I'm not afraid to show it. Look how bad it is. There's just bits of thread all over the place. When you're four year old, you don't care about the back. You don't care about tying things off. Look at this still. <laughs> wow. So yes. <clears throat> that is. The beginning. Told you, I was four years old. Next, because it didn't stop there. The the fabric alone is enough to scare somebody. Look at this! Do this? Where's it? Where's it gonna chunk out? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but this is a lovely, lovely piece of stitching from me. A Christmas tree loads of um little sequins a little bell for santa's hat and then to top it off he's beard i don't know if we can see this or not his beard and he's like fluff on the hat is um i don't even know what it's called that like really fluffy hairy thread <laughs> I should have asked my dad this before I filmed this but I wasn't expecting just to dive in with a throwback and um, there's also some lovely long stitches there for the spikiness of the tree so I think the goal from me here was put in as many um, little candles and whatever these are supposed to be baubles maybe <laughs> Um, as I can and then just fill out the outline of the tree by the looks of things this is also the back's getting slightly better look at this this is what we like none of this some of this <laughs> so yeah um then after that I mean these aren't in order here we go we've got and also I don't think any of these have been washed either because when you look at the state of the holes from oh god um 
so this was one of the first few. Do you know what? The back isn't even too bad either. Well done, me. A little whale. And the stitches are sort of going in the same direction, but not all of the time. <laughs> so he's cute. a little whale. There's um, another one that was, I really like this one, this one's very cute. Obviously I never did the back stitching on it, the back stitch was always done either by my mum or my dad, but I did the stitching obviously, that's just terrible, but <laughs> a little frog holding some flowers. And I'm sure they all came out of like cross stitch magazines and things. Um, the one that I really remember doing is hang on i'll find it i'll just put these ones back in sorry about the crinkly noises Let me back into the film the one i remember doing the most is this one which is definitely out of a cross stitching magazine it's sully from monsters inc now it was the first time that i ever had to count and then stitch um, so I sat with my dad and he was telling me how many to count along, miss one, put one kind of style. Um, and I was really happy with myself. So yeah, I remember, I'm sure we were at the Metro Centre, shopping centre, and we went into WH Smith's and I saw this and I was like, can I get it? And... It probably took me like five years to finish or something daft, but you know, actually probably not even, probably like a year if that, not even that, maybe less, because I had nothing else to do apart from one thing at a time, go me, <laughs> whatever happened, uh, but yeah, so that's some of the, the old things from me, um, some of these are horrendous, hang on. See if I can show you. So it's going to be very wrinkly, but I'm not going to take them all out. So that's obviously silly. The little duck, and it's got French knots for eyes. And my mum did the French knots because I didn't even know how to backstitch then, let alone do French knots. Some of these are from like when I was slightly older. Obviously, these aren't all from when I was four year old, but you know, that's when I started. Some of these are from when I was slightly older. So we've got a little ballerina and then a little rocking horse. They're not in order of when I stitch them, I don't know why there's a blank one, but there's a little flip-flops on the stand. A lot of them are just like little mouse loft kits. These are the little mouse loft tiddlers. A little dolphin and a whale. And that's the, the bigger mouse lofts, train and fecal. And then this one, if I can open it up, is one of the DMC kits. This was definitely when I was older because it's a bit more intense. Butterfly, I really need to frame these. Um, the other butterfly, the Red Admiral one, is in a box over there. I'm not going to go and get it. Because this video has already been a lot longer than it needs to be. Um, have a little, I'll open these because they're in. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't know how to do French nuts, so I've got beads for piglet's eyes. That one's a little bit. <laughs> a bit floppy there, don't know what happened to that. Yeah, little piglet. You can see he's in a hoop and he hasn't been washed. But yeah, these are inside. Hang on, I'll show you, look, so you can see what I mean. So, because obviously it's only a small photo album book, everything's been like folded in half. So, obviously, I can't really show you that because you can't really see what it is. So, I have to take them out. Mr. Bump falling down. Ah. Um, and then there's these ones. A little rubber on a post box and some bears. These are all the Christmas ones. Three little mice and some holly berries. And then the last one is incredibly creepy because I hadn't put any beads in. <laughs> so there's a little bear on a sledge. So yeah, there are all of the... Pretty much, oh hang on, there's these little ones at the beginning. Um, a little dog and ho ho ho. And then 
few seahorses. Because I really like seahorses as well. And then I think that was it, yeah. Because we're back to the whale and the frog. So yes. There we go. We've had an insight <laughs> into where it all began. Um, and obviously I have been stitching on and off an awful lot. It's only really been up until about 20... 19 I would say that I actually started to properly get into stitching again and enjoy it and want to stitch a lot of the time um I have got a few other things that I've finished I'm gonna go and get them so you can see them hang on be right okay, I'm back so we have a little tatty teddy carol singer this is the other butterfly that I was on about. Um, Red Admiral one. Then there is Frankie Hedgehog, which is a woodland fork piece. Little hedgehog. It is the freezing season. Which has got some like big snowflake sequins on, which is really nice. These are the old. Where's my. Oh, it's there. I'll see if I can. We'll use this box. I think it's going to fall down inside, but it's fine. Yeah. So, this is Bert Badger with Rose. Now, these are the start of the obsession with um, wooden folk. So, yeah, this is Bert Badger. This got finished completely in 2020 when I did instead of doing mania doing a new start every day I was trying to get a finish not every day but trying to get a finish at least a couple of week um so I finished this all the back stitching uh, and obviously it still hasn't been washed it hasn't been washed since I started it and it was started probably about 2016 2015 <laughs> something like that um but I did all of the stitches first maybe even earlier did all of the stitches first and then this is why I now say to myself backstitches you go because I did this full piece and didn't backstitch any of it and then had to backstitch the full thing <laughs> so that's that one Bert Badger with Rose singular Rose then this is Toby Fox with Roses this was also fully stitched and then finished the backstitching in 2020 in Mania this one is Ollie Owl and Horseshoe. Uh, this one was started and finished quite recent. Well, I say quite recently, about 2019. This one was part of the Jolly Nations kits back in the day. Little girl with a cat. I also put um, French, instead of French nuts, I put beads for eyes because I couldn't do them back then, I really couldn't do them. Um, this one desperately needs a wash. These ones from here on in really need a wash. <laughs> like really, really badly need a wash. Um, so this is a for friends. Wow, it's got my old name on. <laughs> Before I was a married woman. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little for friends ballerina. I was obsessed with ballerinas as a child. Really wanted to do ballet. Don't know why, don't know where it came from. So yes. Yeah. That one, this one is one of the groovy chick, you know, the bang on the door, that kind of that stuff. Cute girly. Um, and there were a few more at home as well, which I should probably bring and show. But it's like don't look too close because that's when you see all the mistakes and all the forwards and backwards lines when they should be the other way around. But I used to love doing these. The backs don't look too bad. Um, I used to love doing these because you could just do all of the 310 first and then fill them in like a colouring book. When stitching was a lot easier. This is a one from 2020. A little postcard. I used to love doing these. Um, I started doing them for... Um, Andrew's granny. I don't think I actually did all of them though. 
I can't actually remember which ones I've done for her so far. I'll have to have a look through the archives and see. A little recent little sugar plum fairy. I think that was actually from last year. I lost it for a while. I found it again. Um, and then I'll just show these ones because they were in the pile of finished things. Snow White's back. Yay! <laughs> Makes me want to finish Cinderella even more. So she's got a friend. I just love these pieces so much. Just, yes, still need to wash it. If anybody's got any tips on how to wash gridded fabric, please let me know. I'm too frightened to wash her. Um, be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons. That one also needs to be framed. And then my ice cream stitch along. What a throwback. Ice cream for summer stitch along. <sighs> So yes, that is everything. That is all. We've gone on a major tangent this month. <laughs> no way was I expecting to show you all of these oldies, but here we are. <laughs> How we got here, I don't even know, but we're here. <laughs> so yes, um, that is everything that I have to show for this month and more. Um. There we go, we're there. Um, so yes, that's everything that I have to show for this month. Um, for March, I'm hoping to stick to the goals that we have been achieving. Yes, fingers crossed, let's go. Um, I've done really well these last couple of months. Don't wanna you know, blow my own trumpet, but I think I've been doing really well um, considering the time's been just drastically cut. Um, and now I've, not wasted but like I've spent tonight filming and then editing up on so I've literally got 71 stitches done today which was 71 stitches in the sea turtle and that'll probably be it um I have started to do a little bit of crochet on the side now um I wanted to make a blanket for Ollie um maybe it's like an Easter present I'm not quite sure it's um the corner to corner rabbit blankets but I've changed it up a bit I'm using like stripy wool um, for the butt for the blanket and then a white bunny um i'm not gonna go that jazzy um but he does really love like blankets and cozy things um i found these comforters i just realized because i got on there um i found these comforters the other night um and there was this one little dinosaur it's got like proper shinini velvety really soft um for a blanket and then the little dinosaur and I found this one and there was a, a rabbit that was like a white rabbit with a blue chenille blanket and I had originally actually made one for Ollie when he was born um, because obviously we knew we were having a boy so I made a, a dinosaur that had um, a red, orange and white blanket um, and little, I think it was either red or orange spikes, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember, um, I think they were red and I don't actually know where that's gone to now which is quite sad but I thought oh, he really likes a blanket he loves a comfort blanket and I was looking through a box at the loft and I found these and I was like oh, look and I showed him I said look Ollie look what mummy's found for you and he literally just took the rabbit one and was like yep I'm having that <laughs> no saying it nothing just took it and he was gone um that's it and he was gone he's six months well he'd be seven months on sunday where's that time gone um and he literally wouldn't let go of it he ended up falling asleep with it and i had to prise it out of his hands which was really hard because the more i pulled the blanket the more he gripped it um but i wasn't gonna let him sleep with it um so then he woke up in the morning looking for it and i had to give him it and then he just held onto it all day and then it was the same on the night. Andrew had the same issue because we take turns to put him to sleep. Um, so Andrew had the same issue on the night. <laughs> he couldn't let go of a blanket. So yeah, I'm really glad that he likes them and he enjoys them. I think it's because he's already had a dinosaur one. He was a bit like, I don't need that one. But it was just on the top there. So I was just like, oh, how lovely. But yes, these are the kind of things I have been making. Um, Sarah wanted one um, for a present for somebody. So I'm on making one for them and then I'm on with Ollie's blanket as well. So yes, 
Oh, I do actually have that. I'm not going to go and get it. I've been up and down that many times in this video. I'm going to go and get it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> so the ends haven't been sewn into this. And I mean, if you don't want to listen anymore because we're on a crochet now and it's obviously a floss tube, then thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube things. See you later. Um, but yeah, I, I don't normally show crochet on here, but then I've got excited about this. So anyway, so I made this for Ollie. And it was on Instagram. I'm sure it was about March, April time. But then once I'd made it, I hadn't actually sewn, like all of the ends are still, haven't been finished off. Um, I was really happy with it. It was the first time I'd ever done like a corner to corner blanket and for it to have like a picture in it. If that makes sense, it will make sense when I show you it. Hang on. It's got a little rabbit at the bottom. I can't actually remember where I found the pattern, but I'd seen it once on Instagram and was like, I need to do this. So yeah, it's a decent size. Um, but yeah, if I just fold this so that I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. It's got a little, little bunny rabbit. So yeah, I really liked it. I love the colours that I'd chosen for it. And it was the colours that sort of matched the pattern, I think. Um, but yeah, again, it's one of them, what did I have to hand because I need to start it right now kind of things. Um, but I loved it. But then when he was born, I didn't have time to sew the ends in. And then I realised... It's like a creamy white. Babies are <laughs> known for making a mess. So I was like, I've spent months on it. Do I really want him to like be sick on it or something? Do you know what I mean? So I was a little bit like, oh, what do I do? So I never actually ended up finishing it for him to use, which is a shame because it's probably a little bit small now, but I don't think it will be too small actually, but I just think it's really cute. I love it. Um, if anybody wants it, let me know and I'll finish the ends off and send it out somewhere. Um, but yeah, I do really enjoy making things. When it comes to crochet, I'm not really a one for making things for me personally. I prefer to make presents for people. <laughs> so like blankets and, I don't know, scarves and things like that. Um, just random things. Um, purely because if I make something for myself, I have, I've made things in the past. I made a little Baymax, you know, the little Big Hero 6 Baymax. I made him once and he lived on a shelf collecting dust for ages. And then I actually don't actually know where he's gone now. Um, he used to live in the spare bedroom, which is now Ollie's bedroom. But obviously we moved everything out to put his furniture in. <laughs> so I don't actually know where he went. Sorry, Baymax. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, most of the time I make things for like family members, friends. Um, especially people who have babies because I can't help myself. I just really like to make blankets and things, but then when I don't have anything to make for anybody, I get really sad. And then I'm like, well, what's the point in making things? Because I'm just, just going to sit on a shelf or it's just going to sit in a box. So when somebody's like, I'm having a baby, I'm like, is it a boy or a girl? And I'll make it something. <laughs> because I just get a little bit carried away sometimes, as you do. No, I don't think I'm the only person like that. Anyway, it's been enough of a tangent. I've stopped and started this video far too many times. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Um, I'm really impressed. I'm impressed with myself for making it this far without dying. I do really need a drink. <laughs> I should have brought one upstairs with me, but never mind. Um, so anyway, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube things. Um, hopefully, I can stick to the goals that I'm on at the moment. I'm doing really well. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, all that jazz, that I can get things done and get sorted because I'm on a roll. I'm doing really well. I'm feeling positive about things, but it tends to be March, April time when we just. <laughs> so, I'm really hoping that things stay right. <laughs> just lose stitchy mojo sometimes you know and then I can't get it back and then it's like three months later and then it finally comes back and then I'm like I've wasted all of this time so then I have to try and like speed stitch to catch up and then I 
burn out again so i'm hoping just a little bit here and there every day and um, since i haven't got as much time as what i used to so i think that is helping because just being able to do a little bit every now and again gets me excited to want to stitch or want to do some crochet so i think that's really helping so that's really good um so yeah next video i will be filming will probably be the end of march because um it's given me enough chance to actually get goals finished and get actual some progress to show rather than just turning up with a couple of hundred stitches here and there because it would be literally a hundred and odd stitches in a couple of things probably um if i did it every like a couple of weeks um definitely not weekly no way i'd be able to keep up with that i don't know how people do it um so yeah hopefully well, i'll say hopefully see you soon i will see you soon because if you stay positive then things go positive <laughs> So anyway, I shall see you soon with another video. Hope you've enjoyed this crazy rant train that we've ended up on at the end. But oh well, here we go. Um, it's me. This is what you signed up for. <laughs> so yeah. Um, take care. Happy stitching. Love you lots. Bye.